Fans are warming up their vocal cords, practicing their cheering. Yeah. Even New Yorkers are picking sides. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is live in Times Square where the smack talk has started. Jennifer, is that what it is? It's smack talk now? That's it, and the crowds are finally growing. Uh, attractions are added each day, so bundle up the kids and come on down and enjoy Super Bowl Boulevard, where fans are having fun choosing sides. Playful banter be between Seattle and Denver for now, but yeah. until game time, it'll get a little more heated. The Fremkeys from Seattle already making their mark on Times Square. Yeah, Crazy about the Seahawks, team. man. Been 38 years been waiting for this. Are you kidding? Dedicated fans. We love our team. Uh, we are the secret weapon. For in the competition here, we've heard several times uh, Eli has uh, two Super Bowl rings. Peyton only has one, so we're hoping to change that uh, come Sunday. <laughs> Energetic crowds along Super Bowl Boulevard are growing. Still bitterly cold, but getting warmer. I just got it for Christmas, and it's the Seattle colors. Can't wait to see Peyton Manning take the field. What would make your eyes sparkle? Get an autograph. Who do you like? Uh, Richard Sherman, uh, Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas. No Sean Moreno. You're a, a football NFL encyclopedia here. <laughs> New Yorkers love their Jets and Giants. Many are automatic fans of the Manning brothers, and others love Seattle for their coach, Pete Carroll's connections to the Jets. Pete Carroll, you one time coach the Jets in 1994. We always like our New Yorkers. Pete Carroll's a New Yorker from way back. Super Bowl players and coaches say they are loving it here. With the ultimate fantasy football, anyone can come down and be a part donning the helmet of your favorite team. Candy and pizza are free on the greatest stage on earth. Some fans told us Peyton and Eli were both spotted playing golf on Long Island and in New Jersey last fall, and others stopped us to say Seattle coach Pete Carroll used to live next door to him on Long Island. So a lot of local pride and connections here with both teams playing on Sunday. We're live in Times Square. I'm Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. All right, Jennifer's having a great time out there. Stay with CBS 2 News and CBSNewYork.com for complete Super Bowl 48 coverage. And coming up in our next half hour, Otis Livingston's interview with a Seattle running back who's inspiring on and off the field. And also, Bruno Mars talks about his halftime performance. 